Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2018.5 RPOD 180. This is one of the three larger bathroom models that they have now. We'll take a few minutes walk around the outside and inside of this new coach. On the front section of the camper, it has the optional power tongue jack, which has a manual override and a light built in. You have a single 20 pound propane tank. You have a hitch light up front here and also the light on the power tongue jack there. Standard seven way plug so it does have brakes on it. Safety chains, breakaway cable, all the standard safety equipment there. And you have a gas hook up here if you wanted to do like a portable grill you could. You have lower diamond plate across the first uh, probably about uh, 15 inches of there and then it becomes fiberglass and then it rolls up from fiberglass all the way from the front to the back so it is a one piece system here it's not a multi piece with like a rubber roof or vinyl top roof uh, like most RVs on the baggage doors you have magnetic holders Got a pretty good sized storage compartment area here. You have scissor jacks, one on each corner, and you have your dump hose holder there. One of the newer upgrades that they started on the 18 models over some of the older models was they went to 15 inch tires, and these are street tires. On the West Coast, they have an off road tire. That's one of the differences between West Coast and East Coast version but they're both 15 inch tires they have the upgraded torsion flex axle system so it's a nicer ride not the standard harder leaf spring system that a lot of RVs have You've got two outdoor speakers porch light this unit was ordered with the optional R dome which basically goes into that black track you're seeing up there and becomes a big screened in tent room on some of the RPOD models you have an option for the screened in tent room or you have the option to do a awning which is a manual crank out awning and that awning looks something like this one back here this one isn't all the way out but I put it out a little bit just so you could kind of see just a little crank out awning by Thule and the arms can come down and attach to the ground or they come out further So just a little difference that you can get one or the other spare tire mounted on the rear nice fiberglass back end again got the little wing up top with your LED lights in there and you can also see up on the roof section up there you've got your TV antenna the optional air conditioning system you've got a entry door with screen door and window in it now some of the older R pods did not have the window and you have the large folding entry handle there double entrance step going into the coach another storage compartment back here it is kind of a gray colored fiberglass with a lot of blue accenting LED taillights power cord is detachable has the nicer cord handle black tank flush to clean out the toilet system your cable and satellite hookups there electric slide dump tanks are located right here so you got a gray tank and a black tank handle right there outside utility shower for hot and cold water got your black panels here which are access panels for the refrigerator for maintenance and venting purposes uh, low point water drains down there gas electric water heater and your city water fresh water tank fill up and your furnace exhaust all right there
Be sure to check out Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest wholesale dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Going up into the coach, you have your fire extinguisher right at the door here. You have some stickers here basically telling you dry weights. Uh, this particular camper came in at 2,855 pounds with the options that was ordered on it. Then it has a 960 pound carrying capacity it says. Got a couple drawers. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Nice vinyl floor. It's got a tile look to it. Up above those drawers you can use it as either a hanging closet or shelves. Those are removable shelves and they also are adjustable too. Just above the entry door is your TV antenna rotation handle. Got a queen bed. This is a short queen so it is actually 60 by 74. This one was ordered with the optional 24 inch LED Jensen TV. You have a 20,000 BTU furnace. Some of the other versions on the market like an R-Pod only have an 18,000. So you got a little bit bigger furnace. You have the nicer recessed stove top with glass cover instead of the one that sticks up about two inches. Uh, you have a nicer sink cover also which is a matching sink cover and it is a recessed stainless sink instead of a plastic sink like a lot of brands are using. Got the high arch faucet. There's an electric outlet over there. Overhead cabinet. You've got little shocks on it. And also it has the nicer hidden hinges on the cabinet doors so it just gives it a cleaner look. Optional convection microwave basically gives you an electric oven or microwave, either one. Our pod uses a little bit different refrigerator than some of the other versions on the market. So, um, this is basically a three-way fridge. This works off of electric, propane, and 12-volt battery power. So all three processes can cool this thing. The nice thing on this is if you're going uh, out west or somewhere over that you might have to go through tunnels and things like that, some places require you to not be able to use your propane when you're going through tunnels. So you need to be able to turn it on battery power or else you have to get out and shut it off. Also if you uh, pull up next to a gas station pump and you got it on propane, you, know, you don't have to remember to come in here and take that and turn that off. Uh, so you can use the battery power to cool it while traveling going down the road. It's a little bit bigger also. It's a 3.7 instead of a 3.0 two-way fridge that some of the other brands are using. You have a little compartment down there along with an electric outlet. You've got a couple drawers here in the kitchen area. Again, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. A little bit of space under here. The TV is on a swing arm, so you can move that around. Got your Furion radio up there, which is Bluetooth. Also has an HDMI input on it. If you wanted to do some sort of portable Blu-ray player or DVD player system, you can feed it right through there to the TV. Has a speaker in and out selection switch up there. Two-person dinette will make into a small bed. There's a uh, storage underneath of this dinette seat. Under that one over there, you have your electric box with your breakers and fuses in it. Two speakers inside, two speakers outside. You have the 13.5 BTU low profile air conditioner here. Down below the little black square there is your LP leak detector. Then you have your water heater on gas switch. The water heater on electric switch is outside on the water heater. Water pump, battery condition, black and gray tank conditions, USB charging ports, electric slide in and out. 
You have an upgraded digital thermostat for your furnace and for your air conditioner. So this is more accurate in keeping it cool than the models that just turn on and off right there at the air. So that's pretty nice. When it reaches a temperature in here, it can actually shut off, including the fan. So it's, uh, you know, not having to sit there and run all the time. Those cheaper versions with the knobs up top, the fan part usually runs all the time and just the compressor kicks off. So it's a lot nicer little air conditioning system. And you have a nice exhaust fan here. That's great if you're in here cooking and it gets kind of smoky. Uh, that'll suck that right on out. Or if you take a steamy shower, you got kind of a gap here at the door that can help pull out even some of the moisture from the shower. Back into the bathroom area here, you've got a little corner shower with a wraparound curtain deal here. Now this is actually on a track. It's not just a normal curtain that kind of rolls around and doesn't attach to anything. So it is a little bit nicer at holding it in place when you're trying to take a shower. Got the ABS shower wall here. Got your sink over there. Some storage underneath. Electric outlet there. Foot flush toilet. Little cubby here, another little area down there, and then you've got these little holders here. Light switch on the wall. But there's actually room in here to you know get in, get a shower, get out, get dressed, and not have to worry about kicking people out of the camper just so you can get dressed. So it's a good little area here. Uh, my name's Ray. If you have any questions, be sure to give me a call. Toll-free number is 888-417-8299. My direct extension is 203. I am one of the salespeople here at Couches RV Nation. We'll definitely be glad to sell you a unit and save you a lot of money compared to most dealers. Thanks for your time.